It emerged with a style of humor that reflected the mood of freedom that Garvey had established. Richard Pryor was that comedian. And he's here to talk about his homespun humor. <coughs> <laughs> Richard Pryor, welcome to Black Omnibus. Thank you. What or who influenced you to be a comedian? Uh, I don't know. I couldn't fight. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I used to watch Abbott and Costello, uh -huh. mostly. Uh -huh. And uh, Jerry Lewis, Dean Martin, listen to the Red Skelton on radio and things like that. But I wasn't influenced by just my surroundings, mostly. And you I couldn't your fight. Own life. Yeah, I really couldn't fight, so that's why, I, you know, I had to get that together. Some, some dudes, uh, what you gonna do? <laughs> mm. So I do a little dance. <laughs> Make jokes. It isn't one of your most famous uh, skits based on an encounter in an alley? Uh, oh, yeah, it was a dude at home. I uh, used to know karate when it first came out. Uh, Terry Austin, uh, he was bad, you know. He, I kill a brick. <laughs> you know, that was his thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> He'd walk through alleys, you know, all the time, you know. And we had a dead man's alley, we called it, and you had to be bad to walk down through there at 11 o'clock, you know, because he would do it. And he got grabbed in the alley once. We paid old wino to grab him, <laughs> you know, just to see what would happen. He was bad. He was walking through the alley. I can handle it. <laughs> you know, and the dude grabbed him. <laughs> you in a world of trouble, baby. <laughs> You don't know who you messing with. <laughs> you done messed up now. <laughs> that, that, that was the first time I ever saw you. You, you did that one. I said, wow, that's a whole new, whole new thing. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Where, where do you get your material? I mean, I'm aside from little incidents in the alley like that. Uh, Word. That's it. All That's my it. just little incidents in the alley. You know, <laughs> you know and what I see, you know, saw all through my life. But I tried to be a lot of things when I was young. Failed at just about everything. And I, I wasn't making it in school. And I, I, you know, I, I just got embarrassed. I had a hard time reading in class and stuff. You know, it was embarrassing because all the other brothers could read real good. I, and Rev. Chapter Seven said, "But my turn." The man was choosing to. You know, I'd start crying. <laughs> they let me leave the room, and I'd go cry. You know. and dudes be signifying. Nigga, you can't read. <laughs> Get it together. <laughs> yeah, so I, I got out of school when I was 14, took jobs and stuff, different jobs at the packing house. Worked extra hard because I was small to show that I could really work. And the man, boy, you sure do work good. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the Army and then came back home and decided to become an entertainer. Cha-cha-cha. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was um, 